Well, it's been a while since we've had a Micra available in Canada. The first generation car was sold in the 80s. This is generation number four. It's already been for sale in 160 countries around the world, and they're doing a mid-cycle refresh, and that's when they decided to bring this car to Canada. Now, it's not going to be sold in the United States. Small cars in the United States typically sell if they're sedans. Canadians love hatchbacks, and that's why Nissan has added a second car to their subcompact class. They already have the Versa Note. Now they have the Micra. They're built on the same platform, but this car is definitely smaller. Compared to the Note, the wheelbase is 150 millimeters shorter. The length overall is 330 millimeters shorter, and the height is just 10 millimeters shorter. But what they've done is they've taken the goodness of that Note, which I really do like, and they've condensed it down into this Micra. Same engine, same goodness when it comes to the way the car drives and handles. But probably the biggest story is the way they shrunk the price. The starting price for the Micra is $9,998. That's right, a brand new car with wheels and an engine and everything, and a full warranty for under 10 grand. So this is an alternative for people that are looking for a used car. Now the most expensive Micra you can get is $16,700. This is definitely a less expensive car for a city runabout. And that's where we are, in downtown Montreal, to check out the new Micra. So as I mentioned off the top, this car is based on the Nissan Versa Note, but it's smaller and it uses the same engine as well. It's the 1.6 liter four cylinder with 109 horsepower, but this car is smaller as I mentioned and you have a better power to weight ratio. The power goes to either a five speed manual, no six speed, and a four speed automatic. So in order to save money, they had all of that engineering done already for the Versa and this Micra and other parts of the world. So they took the four speed automatic from the previous Versa and mashed it to this car. And that's how they help to keep the price down. So yes, it's only four gears, but that's not uncommon in this class of vehicle. But it really does feel nimble and fun because of that great power to weight ratio. I'm driving the manual today and it zips along here, merging and getting onto the highway, no problem at all. Now this car is sold around the world in 160 different countries, not going to be sold in the US. So they were able, when they were doing a mid-cycle refresh for this car, to make modifications just for our Canadian market. So it has bigger wheels and tires. They added an extra sway bar for better handling. And I have to say that it is a fun little nimble runabout, but it isn't the best handling car overall and one of the things I'm noticing today because it's a very windy day here in Montreal strong crosswinds and this car acts quite a bit like a sail and the electric power steering is a bit vague and it's not really helping in this situation I can't really knock the car because it really is very very windy today so that really doesn't give me a great idea of how the steering feels we're getting buffeted around quite a bit but overall you know what for the price this car has and what you get in it and all of the uh, power for 109 horsepower for this size car it's pretty much on the money. This car is key because it will uh, truly widen our appeal to Canadians. Um, there was a big miss in Canada, you know, especially in Quebec and uh, big urban areas for a smaller, sexy, European car with high quality and great value. And I think with this car, we're going to bring it to market. I think we're going to attract a brand new type of customers, all kinds of uh, customers, from people you know, buying a car for the first time, from uh, uh, people owning uh, already a car and needing a second car, or some people you know, sometimes uh, downgrading from a, a C-segment car and really want a nice car, but don't want to spend uh, too much money. Now that under $10,000 starting price isn't what most people are going to get. There'll be some people that just want the cheapest transportation and might opt for that car, wind up windows, things like that. The reality is most people are going to opt and get a few added features. The car we have here is what most people will buy. It's the middle SV trim plus their convenience package brings the price of this car up to $14,198 with a manual transmission. If you get the automatic, it's $1,000 more. Now, just over $14,000, you get a lot inside this car. You get uh, display audio with Bluetooth. You get a backup camera. You also get cruise control. You get steering wheel controls for the radio, a USB jack. You get a 12 uh, volt power outlet. You get air conditioning and power windows and door locks. That's all amazing stuff 
for $14,198. Now what they decided not to do with this car is to add on things that people in this class don't really want to spend the money for. Navigation, sunroof. This is basic transportation. The back seat is a little bit small. Of course, this is a very small subcompact car. I'd kind of put the back seat on par with the Fiesta from Ford and the cargo area, of course, the back seats fold down. That's one thing they added for Canada. This is the only car in the micro range that's sold around the world that has a split rear seat because we carry things like hockey bags and hockey sticks. I know it sounds cliche, but that's why they put a split seat in the back of this Micra. $199 up to $499. They have appearance packages, which add some nice looking features on this car. The white stripe down the side, the white door handles, the white mirrors, and a stripe along the back. Now it can change depending on which color car you have, but it certainly makes this small car pop. There's a cliche, good things do come in small packages, and this car certainly proves it. The one you see here, just over $14,000, that's a lot of car for the money.